Okay, I have not done a video in a long time. I haven't done an update in a while. Um, so this is going to be a what's in my hospital bag video. This is solely based on what I've read on Pinterest, what I've seen on YouTube of the, you know, people that I follow. Um, if you didn't pack this stuff and you didn't feel like you needed it or whatever, it doesn't really matter because this is this is based on what I've seen and what I've read that I think would be helpful and then just what I would personally like to have while I'm in the hospital. Um, so I'm 40 weeks and one day today, she's just being really stubborn and she's still sitting up super high. She's all the way up in my rib cage still, but, um, but they are inducing me Tuesday morning at nine o'clock. So everything has been packed for a while. And if you notice, I have this on my wrist. I'm not sure why my wrist has been killing me the last couple of days, but I just have this to kind of stabilize it. Um, so I have a big duffel bag packed, um, and then I have her diaper bag packed, and I'll just briefly go through the diaper bag, even though I probably won't use a lot of that stuff, but I'm going to have it with me. So first, I have my nursing pillow, my boppy pillow, everybody that I've talked to has said this is very helpful in the hospital, um, so I plan to take mine with me. Um, this is just one of the postpartum angle um, bottles to clean afterwards, um, which I'm sure that they have plenty of these in the hospital for you and they provide everything for you. I've heard they, you know, provide the mesh panties and everything, but I got one of these uh, I think as a gift or something and I just threw it in my bag. I have my hospital gown that I plan to wear. This is from Amazon. It buttons up or snaps at the top for breastfeeding. It snaps all the way down the back so that they can reach um, for the epidural and then um, the belly part also opens up. There's like a little, oh, there it is. You can open it this way as well. So I have that packed to wear. I have this silicone breast pump. Um, I don't know how you pronounce the actual one, the Haka or I don't know how you say it, but um, this is just the off-brand one off of Amazon. And I have heard that a lot of people have used this in the hospital once they start breastfeeding. Um, to catch the letdown of the of the colostrum on the other side while they're breastfeeding, so I just have it with me just in case. I plan to use it. If not, whatever. Phase ten, because me and Michael have become obsessed with this game lately, and there may be lots of waiting since they're inducing me. So we plan to play some cards. I have. Uh oh, I don't know what just fell out of there. How'd that get in there? That's not supposed to be in there. That's supposed to go in the car. Um, I have a pair of flip-flops um, to walk around in, to shower in, whatever. Um, this I just bought the other day. So while we're playing cards and just waiting around, I bought a, this one's waterproof, but I just bought a cheap $10 Bluetooth speaker from Walmart. Since we like to listen to music. Um, I have, I'm not sure how many of these I actually packed. This is just a tank top, um, a nursing tank top though. I don't know if that's rain or my washing machine is really loud. Um, so it just unsnaps right there. Um, I think I packed two of these nursing tanks. Yep, here's a white one um, that I just got from Walmart. This is just a pair of leggings to wear. Um, I think I plan to wear these on the way home. Um, this is a nursing nightgown from Walmart. It's just plain gray and unsnaps at the top. So this is just something comfortable to wear while I'm in the hospital. I'm hoping she will come by Tuesday night if they induce me Tuesday morning. I don't know. This could completely, uh, she may not even come till like Thursday morning. But as long as everything goes okay and she comes around Tuesday evening, th Tuesday night, then she has to be in the hospital for 24 hours to monitor her and me. So um, that'll put us Wednesday evening 
and then for 24 hours and then obviously they're not going to release us at night so I'm expecting to stay at least until Thursday afternoon so I have a couple of outfits packed and I'm sure I have more than I need but I'll at least be able to choose what comfortable outfits that I want this is just an extra large t-shirt that I wear all the time just to be comfortable here's a pair of sweatpants then I have this um, this is just a plain gray and black cardigan to put over my nursing tanks if I'm cold then I have an outfit for I'm sorry I have hiccups I have an outfit for Michael. I just have a pair of basketball shorts um, and a t-shirt and some underwear and some socks. Then I also have a nursing bra. This is from Walmart, just a plain nude nursing bra in case I just want to put that under my t-shirt or something if I'm not wearing one of the nursing tanks. I was also told to bring my own towel because I read a lot that the hospital towels are like really stiff and uncomfortable and small so I brought a big soft towel for me to use when I first take a shower afterwards so this pin is I don't know what it's doing in here but I guess it may come in handy I also have this is just a bag of overnight pads the big overnight pads and nursing bra pads the um, disposable ones which I'm sure they will provide all of this but I brought my own anyway then I also they also say that you have um, you know they provide the mesh panties and stuff but I have two no I think I only packed one I packed one pair of maternity or postpartum um, underwear and then I also bought some mesh underwear for myself just in I mean I know they said that they would give you plenty at the hospital but I just bought some for myself then I have oh I didn't realize I packed this in here but this is just a massage um, roller I think I actually got this in my last bump box so this will probably feel good on my back um, I also have my socks that I plan to wear I also got these in the bump box they say bump life on the bottom and then on the top they say one says inhale and one says exhale so I thought those were funny then I have what's it? oh I think this is just the underwear I have a headband to hold my hair back uh, this is this is the postpartum underwear and then I just have socks in case my feet are cold so that is my hospital bag oh no it's not i also have this <laughs> that i just threw in there this has they said that they have everything that you need bathroom wise but i like to bring my own stuff i don't know about you guys so i have toothbrush toothpaste deodorant shampoo and conditioner for me and michael a brand new thing of chapstick because everybody says since you can't eat anything but ice your lips get really chapped so I just have the aquaphor lip repair which is my favorite chapstick ever then I have just a thing of wet wipes I'm not sure why these are in here but they are and then I have this fenugreek I think that's how you say it uh, it's a dietary supplement but I heard it was good for um, boosting supply your milk supply and then I also have contact case and solution and the only thing I have left to grab before we leave is my glasses because I definitely need those. Okay, so that is my hospital bag. And then I have her diaper bag. This is the Jujube BFF backpack. I think this one's the BFF. And then I just have this little box attached and then my brother and sister-in-law got these two tags that say Emma, uh, Emma and Olivia. So here's this. There's a thing of wipes on the side. I think that's it for there. The This is like the most beautiful diaper bag ever. There's a memory foam changing pad in the back of it. 
This is a felt pocket right here to put your cell phone in so it doesn't get scratched up. This front pocket, I have um, disposable changing pads. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be using a bunch of this stuff in the hospital, but I also packed it for like later on when I actually use it. So that's why there's some stuff in here that I'm not actually going to use for now. Um, but I do have, I was told these were very, very helpful in the, um, hospital because sometimes if their latch isn't good at first or for whatever reason, I have these nipple shields, which that one looks like it's kind of, oh no, it's just a string. Okay. But I have these nipple shields for the hospital. I was told that was one thing that I would definitely want if she didn't latch right. I don't like folding them like that, but that's okay. I also have this Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter um, to help with breastfeeding and cracked nipples and everything like that. I think that's all that's in that front pocket. Then I have hair ties which I don't need this, this many but a bunch of this stuff I just went and bought at Walmart that I knew that I would need and I just threw it into my bag already like still packaged in a box whatever so hair ties I have two chargers one for me and one for Michael that are yes still in the box and they will stay in this bag until we get to hospital because he cannot keep up with chargers and I knew he would need one and this has been in my car for a couple of weeks now and I knew if for any reason that we had to leave to go to the hospital if we were already out then I wanted to have a charger and everything we needed already in the car. I have this little Wubba Nub, Fox Wubba Nub with the pacifier which is just in here for good but um, I don't think they recommend you do the pacifier the first couple of days in the hospital while breastfeeding, which, I mean, that's totally your call and you can do it if you want to, but I'm pretty sure that they don't recommend it in the hospital just for um, like nipple preference and stuff so that you can make sure that your baby gets a good latch and everything. I have a swaddle blanket, which yes, I know I'll get one at the hospital, but I brought then I have her little lovey. This is literally my favorite, one of my favorite things that I got at my baby shower. This little lovey that has her name on it with some foxes and then the other side is pink and it's really soft. So this is just her little comfort blanket that I plan to, to have everywhere with us. So I have that packed in here. Then I'm not gonna show all of her outfits that I have. And I only have, one, two, three, I have four. I have four outfits. Assuming we're only going to be there for two days. And she may not even wear clothes the whole time. Which is fine. But I did pack. I will show you guys this. Because it matches my hospital gown. So it's just a plain pink and white polka dotted sleeper gown. With the little mittens on the end. Uh, and then I do have a hat to go with it. But I'm not going to show that hat. Because it's pretty cute. You can see it in pictures. Then I just have one other regular outfit I have her going home outfit which I'm also not going to show because you'll see it in pictures and then I just have this little sleeper um, that my grandmother got for her just as extra in case I want to to use that instead I also have the paperwork that they gave me from the doctor they just said to keep this with me at all times oh my mom was calling the dogs to keep this with me at all times and to turn this into admissions whenever we go to the hospital on Tuesday. I have diapers packed in here. They said, I mean, obviously, you know, the hospital will provide all the diapers that I need. But like I said, I'm pre-packing for it later on. So I just went ahead and put a, a few diapers in there. I also have this little, I don't know, a health kit. It's not really a first aid kit, but it's like a health kit. And it just has, I think, a hairbrush. Yeah, all the little essentials. A thermometer. It has a toothbrush. This little medicine bottle. Just, you know. Little things. I think it has fingernail clippers or something. 
So I just have this sitting in the bottom of the bag, which I won't need, obviously, in the hospital. But Then I have one more swaddle, because that other one, that fox one I showed you at the beginning, is just a blanket. This one is a Velcro one, which I love these. They are so convenient. So I have this one just packed in here. And I have some socks and some mittens for her little hands and I have this is not the hat that goes with the gown by the way but I do have this little hat packed in there and that is it for her diaper bag I'm pretty sure so I wanted to do a what's in my hospital bag video and kind of an update because I am so grateful for everyone who has texted me literally every single day for like a week asking me, do we have a baby yet? Do we have a baby yet? Like, how are you feeling? When is this baby coming? I'm like, I don't know. I feel the same way. Because at 38 weeks, my doctor said I wouldn't be back for my 39 week appointment because she was like, oh, I think she'll be here in the next week. So. Michael took off for work the whole week, and we just expected her to be here already. And then I went back to the doctor at 39 weeks and five days, and he was like, I saw a different doctor. I'm on a rotation. I'm not sure if every OB clinic does this, but I'm on rotation, so I have seen every doctor at my OB clinic at least two or three times during my whole pregnancy so that... Whoever is on call when I go into labor, I'm familiar with that doctor and I'm comfortable with them, which I like the way that they do that. But some of the doctors I prefer over the other. But anyway, so I saw a different doctor on this past Thursday. And of course he said, well, she shouldn't have told you that because, you know, you can't, you can't guess, you know, you can't give an estimate. So here we are, past 40 weeks. But he said he was going to let me labor by myself over the weekend, which obviously I have, I'm two centimeters dilated, just about all the way faced, thankfully. But I haven't made any more progression since then. I've had, I've been having contractions the last week, but they're, I mean, obviously they're tolerable, but it's only maybe one, two or three a day. So it's not very many. They're not consistent at all. Really the last two days I've felt pretty good other than extremely uncomfortable and huge. So it doesn't really seem like she's making any progress right now. So he said he was going to let me labor over the weekend by myself. And then if she wasn't here by Tuesday morning that he would induce me. So he is on call this particular doctor is the doctor that I originally started with when I first got pregnant, when we moved here. So he is on call until Tuesday evening. So I think he wanted to go ahead and induce me Tuesday morning, which I am fine with. Um, I've heard horror stories about induction and then I've heard really great, easy stories about induction. So it could go either way. Everybody is different and I understand that. I could be inducted on inducted induced I can't get my words right I could be induced Tuesday morning and she may not even come to like Thursday because I've heard of that happening but hopefully everything goes smoothly and works out <laughs> perfectly which I I know is very unlikely everything everything can change but that is the plan as of right now to be induced Tuesday morning he's only on call till Tuesday night and I hope that he can be the one to deliver her he is the doctor that delivered Michael 25 years ago. So I think that would be pretty cool to do a father, deliver father and daughter. So he was in his last year of residency when he delivered Michael. And now he's delivering Emma J. Hopefully if she comes that before he gets off call on Tuesday. So anyway, that was my hospital update, hospital bag update and my 40 week pregnancy update but at least I'm not making it to 41 weeks so 
um, comment below tell me if you think I'm missing anything and thank you guys for watching